Hi, Michaela Harris here with Timberlake Marketing. I want to take just a few minutes today to show you what you could be doing to improve your online presence and help get you more customers and essentially grow your business. So first things first, when I Google your business, I don't see a Google business profile. This is always my first recommendation to any business is to have one of these for each major city that you service. How you create one of these is you log into Google and you go up here to your apps and go to business profile. You want to make sure you fill it out in its entirety. As much information as you can that you have a good <clears throat> company description. They allow you 750 words. I recommend you use as many of them as you can to describe exactly what you do in as much detail as possible and make sure that you're including two to three good keywords in that description. Also, making sure that you have good images that are tagged with the location and good keywords behind them as well. You want to make sure they save as good keywords because Google's going to read the image, read the information behind the image just like it would content. Now, the next thing would be citations, which is basically getting your business's name and address listed in a bunch of other places so that it's going to so that Google's going to see that it's referring back to your business. Um, this could be websites like Yelp, things like that. Um, getting these citations is going to help rank you in the map section. So when I look up, when I looked up your business, I did see that you were on Home Advisor. And when I came down here, I saw that you did serve a lot of cities. Now, when I say getting a business profile up in each major city that you serve, some of these like, let's see, Birmingham's a good one. It has a good high population. Gadsden's going to be a good one. Rainbow City as possible. I haven't 100% looked into the keywords yet, but you want to go for cities that have higher populations. That's going to get more searches. Um, the smaller cities um, like Bluntsville doesn't get a lot of search volume, so they're going to be they're not going to be hard to rank in. They're just not going to bring you in as many potential clients. So it's almost better to just avoid those outer lying cities and go for the big main ones like Birmingham or Huntsville or Gadsden. Now I see that you do remodels and renovations. So when I look up home remodeling in Birmingham, Alabama, this is a high volume keyword for Birmingham. Um, you can see that being in the maps in this first three and being in the organic section, this is where most of the people are going to find you. Most people are never going to click more businesses and most are never going to go to that second page of Google. So it's important to be in the easiest place to be found to get the most amount of FaceTime with your customers. It's going to get you the most amount of traffic, which is going to translate to the most amount of business. Now, where this becomes important is you can take your top competitor, which is one call remodel, and you can put them into this tool that's called Arifs, and you can see what are their keywords, how much traffic are they getting to their website every month, um, what are their backlinks and domains. Now this can get confusing if you have no idea what all this is, but just for a start, I'm going to say I always recommend when you build a website, which I do recommend, it's how you're going to get in that organic section, is to go and look at your competitor's keywords. So your top competitor in this case being one call remodel, this is just for one specific keyword, the one I searched, home remodeling Birmingham AL. Um, for that one, the one call remodel is your top competitor and you can look and see what words they're ranking for. So if you do basement remodeling, you can get this keyword. Make sure that it has the city in there. You don't want to try to go for state or national keywords. The cities are going to be easier. You can see um, if you do this service, home remodeling, which you do, Birmingham, Alabama, generates 150 searches every month. Basement remodeling, 80 searches. Basement remodel, 80 searches. Um, kitchen remodeling, 200. So whatever, go through this list and find whichever one has a service that you offer. And keep in mind, you can have separate service pages. Make your home page, your basic page that says all the basic things that you do. Um, then you can go for each consecutive page and find additional keywords. 
So you want to have service pages for each service that you offer and you get separate keywords for those pages. And then you also want to go get keywords for your location pages. So this is where your location pages need to be basically mini home pages. So for your main home page and your location pages, 1500 to 2000 words are relevant content. You want to have every 150 to 200 words on those pages to have a good relevant keyword. Any images on your website you want to save as keywords. And for your service pages, keep it around 500 to 750 with a good keyword every 150 to 200 words. So how you choose your words, like I said, is to go down through here, pick whichever one matches your service in your city, and then you can sort them for each page by which ones have the highest volume and the lowest KD. The lowest KD is going to mean the easiest to rank. So the best is to keep it under 5. You really want to keep it under 10. Um, anything over 15 is just going to be difficult. Um, pretty much that's my number one recommendation for anyone. Get that website built. Make sure you have a home page, service page, location pages. You want to go the extra step. Create a GMB or a Google business profile for every major city that you service so that it can link back to that specific location page and you can rank in every major city that you service. Like I said, this can get difficult and this is just the on-page side of it. There is a whole off-page side of it, which is where you get into backlinks and referring domains. But for now, I don't want to overload you with too much information. so. If you have any additional questions or would like any more information on how this can help you, I'd be more than happy to answer questions and please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch.